in today's video, I'm going to be giving you a tour of our new house that we have moved into in Bloxburg. And we figured that the other house was a little bit farther away from Aria's daycare that she will be attending very soon. So I decided that we should move closer to her school and we found this beautiful hillside home and it is just the most gorgeous suburban house I've ever seen. So I was like, I have to have this home. So we bought it and today I'm going to be giving you a tour of this house. Well, totally didn't mean to do that, but you know. <laughs> but anyways, we have Aria with us today. As you can see, she's super excited to be in today's video. But today I'm going to be giving you guys a tour. A lot of you guys said on my Instagram post that I should do a speed build of this house. And I was thinking maybe I should, but I'm not sure yet because a lot of work went into building this plot. Um, I probably won't do, you know, like the mountains behind. I can definitely do um, just the main parts of this house if you guys were interested. But anyways, this is what the front of the house looks like. It is a hillside house and this is my very first hillside house that I've ever built in my Bloxburg career. So this is what it looks like. Over here we have a little pond and then we have a bunch of these trees. Let me tell you, these trees right here are super expensive. So yeah, but it just goes all the way back to where the fence goes and I will give you guys a tour of that later on. But this is kind of what this side of the plot looks like. Um, a lot of trees, a lot of greenery and over here we have a cute little pond. As you can see, there's a little area where you can go in underneath my house and just in case there were some intruders, I thought I would put a scary photo right here <laughs> to scare them off. So yeah, um, you guys will see, you guys will notice that I have a lot of secrets on this plot, a lot of secret places like that. So this is what the house looks like from down here. And then on this side, I just have a bunch more trees. I wasn't sure if I should put another pond right here, but since we have another huge pond or a mini lake in the back, I thought I would leave the side blank. But yeah, this is what this side of the plot looks like as well. Just more mountains, mountains on top of mountains. I've never built a mountain house before. I've always done something in like a valley suburban house, but this is totally different and I'm so proud of how it turned out. Over here we just have a bunch of trees, some rocks, and some leaves on the floor. I changed the pile of leaves from the orange fall colors to the green to green colors. Um, I will be changing that back once fall starts, but I have a lot of trees that I will need to change when that time comes. We'll see if I change all of them, but I probably will change a few of them. And then over here, as you can see, it is not water. I made this out of the carpets. This is made out of carpets because you can't put water on the second floor, which kind of sucks, but it's fine. It'll work. It's another little cute pond area that is a waterfall. Over here, we just have some plants and underneath this is actually more carpeting just because when I built this house, I put all the flooring down to this green color. So I didn't feel like deleting it and then having to do it all over again. So a lot of the things that you'll see on top of here is um, either like carpets or just regular stepping stones like this. And then over here we just have more trees and some boulders, nothing too special. And then I also have some hanging plants with the colors that I have going on throughout this house. I have a lot of, you guys will notice that this house is very colorful. I wanted to go for something totally different than what I usually do. Um, I used to stick to like whites and grays, but I kind of wanted to play around with colors. So yeah, we have a bunch of plants out here. I planted some before recording. A lot of the plants I have out here are plants that you don't need to water at all. And then especially those up here, as you can see, these are fake plants that you can find in the decorations section in build mode. Um, I put fake plants up here because I didn't want to you know, make the effort to water them every single time they needed to be watered. And it's just a lot of plants on this plot. So I thought it'd be a smart move to go for plants that you don't need to water or they're fake. So when you walk in, you are greeted by this little um, hallway, I guess you could say. And I just have a bunch of decals that I um, put on Roblox. So um, these are the decals that I put on Roblox. A lot of the decals that you'll see in this house I got from other builders, but these are just the ones that I put up right here. I just searched on Google like cool um, Tumblr photos and I put it up on the decal section. And then we have some plants over here and then a little coat hanger. And then this is the living room. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys will have seen 
this um, room before. In fact, you'll see most of this house because I've been posting a lot and oh my gosh, guys, those photos blew up with so much likes, especially when I posted a photo of this house. You guys went crazy over it. So thank you so much, I guess, for following and liking those um, photos. It means so much to me and I'm really glad that you guys like my content. But this is what the living room looks like. It is very colorful. I showed my mom and she's like, there's too much pink in the house. And I was like, okay, well, it's a summer house. For the fall time, I will probably just leave it and then add some other like decorative fall stuff. But we have the giant TV right here. This is one of the newer ones. I have some books, a fireplace, some log woods to put in our fireplace. And then we also have a little succulent plant along with the seashell that I found in the ocean. I have two of these. Um, I'm not sure where my other one went. I think it's on another plot. But then over here we have a single seat couch with this gorgeous photo. I love this photo. It's so cute. And yeah, that is pretty much it for the living room area and when you walk in. And then when you walk back here, you are then greeted with the dining room. And over here we have a little table area with some photos. Now these photos right here are all from other builders. Um, they posted some decal IDs on their Instagrams and I just entered them in and that's where I got those photos from. We have some flowers, books, more plants, and this cool old-fashioned phone which I think is super cute. On the table we just have a bunch of plants, more plants, and then I put up these little party banners just to fill up this area. We just have some more of these photos that I got from other builders. And then over here is a kitchen inspired by a Instagrammer named Cplex. I will put his name on the screen in case you guys wanted to go check out more of his posts. I'm not sure if he does building videos. He does post a lot of photos of his builds and decorations. So this kitchen is inspired by his posts. I really loved how the colored cabinets look like in that post and it was just very beautiful and then over here we just have like a bunch more kitchen stuff, some dishes, the sink, a microwave, and then we have a little August calendar which I don't even know if this is the right year but I just put it up anyways. Um, I was thinking of putting up pita breads calendar because he made one for the month of August so I might end up doing that and then we have just a little island counter over here and then in this area we have a little household um, laundry. In my builds I do a lot of laundry rooms like separate laundry rooms but this time I kind of wanted it to be like a little nook and have its little area without having to build extra space or another room. So yeah, um, I'm going to get my hungry mood up because I am feeling so hungry and honestly in real life I'm feeling hungry right now so I should probably get some food. This is the downstairs bathroom. Now this house is a three bedroom, two and a half baths I would say. Three and a half baths? I don't know. I think two and a half baths because the downstairs bathroom doesn't have a shower. It just has a toilet and a sink because most downstairs bathrooms don't have a shower. Mine doesn't at least. And then over here we have another household area where you can hang up your car keys and you know stuff like that. So when you walk out of here, this is just the garage. It is very basic. Nothing too special. Oh. I was going to say, did someone draw on the wall over here, but it's actually part of the plant that I have in the patio. Since this is a hillside home, I actually don't have anything underneath the house right now, not even a basement. But now that we are done looking at the downstairs area, let's go look upstairs and then we will go into the backyard because there is a lot back there, I will tell you that. So this is what the upstairs hallway looks like. There's a lot of lighting, which I think I'm going to turn off this lighting. So. We just have some photos over here that I have uploaded. Now these decals I have uploaded myself and then these other ones right here I have found in the like the search the search engine. <laughs> the search engine when you get a photo uh, I found that in the Roblox search photo thingy my bobber. And then over here I have a little desk area just because I didn't make an office in this house so I thought I would fill up this area with a little desk area. And then this leads to Aria's room. I put some posters out around her door um, just because I thought it was cute and sometimes kids like to do that in real life with their rooms when you walk in. So this is what her room looks like when you walk in. On this side of the wall we have just a dresser, books, shelves, photo frames, and some toys. And then right here we have a bookshelf with her computer. This is where she sits and does her homework. 
And then this is her little bed area. It is a little cute nook and it is just so adorable. I thought it'd be the perfect place to put her bed just to save up some space because her room is a little small as you can see. And then we just have a little sitting area and then when you go in this area, her playroom is actually connected to her bedroom. I thought this would be a really great idea instead of building a separate room and having her having to go into that room. So this is just what this looks like. Um, I didn't know how to hide the little roof area. I was planning on making that look like a dollhouse, but <laughs> I don't know how to do that just yet. So if you have any suggestions, let me know down below. And yeah, Aria really loves her room. We ended up packing, unpacking all the stuff last night. So we have everything in her room. She's just been coloring and just reading books since um, we've been filming this. But over here we have a little household playroom area. We have some instruments, a mirror, a balloon, and a little table where she can color and possibly do her homework as well. And we have a little rack over here where she can dress up and then just a little bookshelf area and a TV so she can watch her favorite unicorn show and she loves her room so much. She spends most of her time in this room and yeah, I'm really happy that she loves it. We worked hard on designing the room. So yeah, that is Aria's room. Next to Aria's room is the family upstairs bathroom. Now this bathroom is really small, but I kind of like it small. This is just what the colors look like. I went for something colorful, but also something like colors that go together. Yeah, this bathroom is really small, so I couldn't put much in it, but this is what her bathroom looks like. It's nothing too special. And then right here is the separate bedroom or spare bedroom. Um, so far, this is no one's room right now, but this is just a spare bedroom just in case any of my Roblox friends would like to role play or sleep over. And yeah, this room has a lot of blues. This one I went for a more, I guess you could say not girly theme because Aria's room is super girly and my decorating style is super girly. So I went for something totally different in case I do end up adopting a son along the way. So yeah, this would be his room and he can definitely change the photos in case he wanted to because I know that some of these are a little bit girly but not too girly. So yeah, this is just the spare bedroom. It is kind of small but I try to make the best out of the space that I was given. So yeah, that is that room and then all the way down here is my room and I think I'm starting to be tired. Yeah, I'm losing energy so... This is perfect timing. So this headboard is a decal that I uploaded as well. And in the photo, there was already sunlight. So I think it looks super pretty as you can see, especially when it's morning time in Bloxburg and the sunlight just hits the headboard. It's just beautiful. Now this is what the, the side of this room looks like. We have some bookshelves. This is just a little overview of the bedroom. Very, very colorful and pink with blues and yellows. Very summery. But then we just have a little lemon chair or lemon, lemon chair. I don't know. Because it's yellow, I associate it with lemons. And I have this little poster back here that it's like lemon swings. I don't even know what it says. I just chose it because it was yellow and it had lemons on it. I thought it was adorable. Then this is the ensuite bathroom. Again, super, super colorful, very nice. I love the decals. So this is the rounded bathtub, but you can't really see. I ended up adding shelves on the inner part so I can put down these little um, shampoo bottles that had some gaps, so I wanted to fill those up. And then we have some towels. We have a sink right here and then also some toilets oh some toilets <laughs> we have a toilet and then we have some bottles of other stuff right there so this is just where i get ready in the mornings all right guys so this is what the backyard looks like it is very simple um we have a lot of grass area as you can see and a lot of other things in the backyard as well i really wanted to add a little eating area outdoor eating area over here um, over here we have a little barbecue area and a little mini fridge and as you can see it's kind of like glitching as every time I move um, that's because it's like carpeting and carpeting on this huge grass floor we also have some stepping stones over here that lead to different places right here we have a little bonfire bond pit fire fire pit yeah, we have a little fire pit area over here so we can roast some s'mores. You guys saw me building this in a past video, but just in case you didn't see that video, this is a cute little greenhouse that has a sunroof, as you can see on the top. 
If you guys want to know how I made the sunroof, definitely go check that video out. Yeah, this is just what the greenhouse looks like. Um, just a bunch of plants and it's very beautiful. I love how it looks in here. And then over here we have some swings. I have a swing set. Um, I was thinking of building a playground in here, but I thought it would take up too much space. So I just added a little mini swing set because that's all Aria really needs. She has a playground at school, but I know she really loves swings, so I wanted to put some in the backyard. And then over here we just have a bunch of planters with this type of plant, and it's yellow, it's super cute. Just to add some color to this area because without that it would look very plain and boring. And then over here I made Aria a little tree house and it's super cute you can go inside as well as a cute little door and you can climb all the way up here and just see the entire backyard so yeah that is just the mini tree house that i built for her it's super cute it's like round and stuff and this is just what the back of the house looks like this is the backyard and then over here this is my favorite part as well so over here we have a little hillside ledge and I ended up adding a little hammock so we can just relax in this little area. And this is just what it looks like. I think it's super cute. And then we have a little staircase that leads down to the lake area. So this is where we like to have fun. Since you can't add a pool on the second floor, like I really wanted to add a pool on the second floor so we can have, you know, somewhere to swim instead of going to the beach. I ended up adding a little lake area down here. We have some chairs. I added different levels in this lake. So if I can go downwards, as you can see, there's different levels. We also have little floaties over here as well, just in case we just wanted to relax and kind of sunbathe. Okay, so now I'm about to show you guys the first secret. No, the second secret. Now, if you go all the way down to the bottom right here to where the light is, this leads you to a little mermaid cove. Now. I love mermaids. I've always wanted to be a mermaid since I was little and I thought I would add this area over here. Um, it is super pretty and if you guys seen the show H2O, they have like a little moon pool place where they like to hang out. Um, I was thinking of building that but I wasn't sure how to do it so I didn't do it. But yeah, this is just what it looks like. It is super cute. We have a little purple pot over here some purple water and some glowing blue plants. It kind of reminds me of the movie Avatar as well, if you've seen that. Oh my gosh, everything is super pretty. So I have a little secret door area over here that leads to a little workstation. This is where I like to bring my moods up when I'm working and I have a door area that leads to um, the room as well. Ooh, look at that house, it's pretty. But yeah, this is just what this area looks like. But yeah, I'm gonna go back out this way so I can show you guys the campsite that I built. So that is one of the secrets that I have on my plot. Now over here we have a little camping area, a fire pit so we can roast some s'mores and just camp out in our little lake forest backyard area. We have a tent so we can sleep and do some camping. Over here is just the barbecue area where we can make some food. We have some lights and then moving on. I added some ladders right here that kind of blend in so that I can climb all the way to the top of the mountain. If you go all the way to the top, you can see the entire plot. Now look at this. This is super cool. You can see the entire plot. This is what the entire plot looks like. So gorgeous. I'm so happy with how this build turned out. I'm so proud of it. Okay, so if you go right here, there's a little door area and we have a little party place inside of a mountain. Um, this is all I have in here. I didn't add anything else yet. I just have a bunch of party stuff. So this is where we like to party. Super cool. I love it. So if we go back out, that is the last secret I have on my plot. But yeah, that is pretty much it for the backyard. I really hope that you guys like this build. It took me a while to build it and it's definitely my biggest build so far. I have another build that I've been working on a secret mansion, but I haven't finished doing that just because I've been trying to save my money for this build. But yeah, that is pretty much it for this build. All right guys, so that is it for our new family hillside home house tour. I really hope that you guys enjoy this video. And Aria is super excited to be in this video as well. This is where she will be living with me. Don't worry guys, we still have our first speed build, which is the house that we had first. I thought I would build something more exciting and you know, just different from the builds that I've been doing. So anyways, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. 
expect more role play videos in this house especially when the fall time comes and Christmas season we can decorate so yeah thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys Aria say goodbye to everyone she's a little shy still oh she's so bye how cute is that oh my gosh she's super excited all right guys we'll see you in the next video <laughs>